Today in this video we have over 300,000 tournament credits worth of rewards to open and we are of course using the lucky golden controller. My guy Yamel is a long-term viewer and part of the Pixel Army, and he has lent me his account today for this tournament opening. And it's actually my second biggest tournament opening of all time, and bigger than any opening I've done on my account. So here is going to be the breakdown. 125 Prospect Cups, 11 Challengers Cups, and 10 All-Star Cups to finish off the video. So smash a like if you are excited, because I most certainly am. Well over 100 crates. This is going to be insane. And then we're going to do all the trade-ups as well. So chances are we're going to get something sick in this video. So if you are excited, please do drop a like on it. If you are in the 70% of people watching this video that aren't subscribed, then please do subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army along with my guy Yamel because we are very, very close to 700,000 subscribers and then pushing forward to 1 million in the year 2021 because the Pixel Army, it is the best community out there. So definitely please do smash a like, subscribe down below. And if you aren't already, please use code Pixel Army in the Rocket League item shop as it it really does help support me and keep my videos going every single day. So we have to open 150,000 credits worth of Prospect Cups, which as I said is over 100, which is sick because I've done, right, I've done two tournament opening videos with the Lucky Gold Controller, right? And I've got a black market from the Prospect Cup in both of them. Do I expect to get a black market today? I weirdly don't because that is just luck that cannot be replicated i don't know how i keep doing it but we do so maybe we can i'll keep the black i'll keep the controller here hopefully hopefully we get something sick and then of course we are going to do all necessary trade ups he says obviously if, if there are any duplicates i can trade those up if there's something cool that isn't a duplicate we will keep it but i'll do what i can to get him a black market and to be fair with 10 all-stars cups even if we get 10 very rares that's two imports you know minimum and we're gonna get other imports as well so we're gonna get at least exotics or black markets in this video today so i'm very very excited i need to keep an eye on the on the count and uh yeah let me just get an act an exact number as to how many i need left before I move on. So when I get down to 164,100, I'll need to stop with the Prospect Cups. I'm giving the Challengers Cups a chance. It's just in my recent videos, the luck to value you get is better in the Prospects. Like obviously over a long period of time, you're going to get better luck in the Challengers Cups, but the price of the Prospects are so much cheaper for work, for, for luck that seems to be a similar amount. There we go. We got a painted exotic in the Prospect Cup. That's sick. It's not a hand tart. I think hand tart's definitely my favorite of the exotics. And Hades Bomb is definitely the favorite of the black markets for me. But I will take a painted Zoko wheel and potentially I could trade it up. It all depends. There's a black intercross wheel. That's not bad, you know. I'm telling you, these, these prospect cups, they're all right. They are all right. I don't know what rank uh, this guy's tournaments are at. Let me just take a look at his... Uh, his current competitive ranks so uh unranked in threes and diamond in two so i'm guessing he's in the diamond tourneys and he's finished close to a win in that but hasn't been able to get top eight in the champions tourneys to get the champions cup that is totally fine my guy because we're out here opening hundreds of thousands of credits of rewards who needs the champions cup when you can get a painted black market in the prospect cup I just, I thought I, I thought I could set myself up for success there, but apparently not. We'll carry on. We still got so many more, uh, so many more crates to go. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Massive shout out to the notification squad. I usually call, you know, shout out all kinds of different gangs, you know, the toilet gang, etc., etc. But big ups to the notification squad that have the bell turned on and subscribed, etc., with notifications on because I do see you. I love going to the video five minutes after it's been posted, like one of my videos, and checking out the early comments. Obviously, there are some people that say, you know, great video and i'm like well it is a great video but you're just assuming that which to be fair i appreciate even if you are saying it to just get my attention you know if you're saying great video and you think it's great and you haven't watched it yet and you've left a like then i do appreciate that because i know there are thousands of you that just drop a like on the video as soon as you arrive which is awesome if you aren't a part of the like gang and haven't already dropped a like on this video then please do drop a like on the video because it's about to get very very saucy in here we're having some okay prospect like you know nothing mad like we did get a painted exotic actually now that i think about it which is pretty insane but this is about what i'd expect it's not bad we haven't been getting only uncommons but i was gonna say ever since i started talking about it we've been getting a lot of uncommons but this is what i'd expect from prospects you know the, the description is pretty good mostly rare and very rare items okay this is usually an uncommon or a rare item but anything's possible so i'd say we're actually doing okay you know we usually are uncommon and rare that makes sense but there's been some good imports thrown in here and we've still got a load of challenges and 10 all-stars that's the big one you see here's what happened i saw online 
someone had 24,000 credits approximately. They had enough to open two All-Stars Cups. And they got the best two All-Stars Cups in the history of Rocket League. They opened an All-Stars Cup. I can't remember the order, but they got a Titanium White Nurgle. And then the next one, they got a Titanium White Hades Bomb. Or the other way around. They opened two All-Stars Cups and got both Black Markets, both in Titanium White. And All-Stars isn't even guaranteed painted. It's literally just very rare or above. So, I, I, <laughs> that luck is, is, I mean, that's decent, but that luck is, it, it's impossible. Like that, I mean, to be fair, a very rare to a black market. It goes very rare, import, exotic, black market. So, a black market is, is three ahead of, um, ahead of very rare. With an uncommon here, that's like getting a painted import, I guess you could say, in a prospect cup, which we've had, which, which, which we have had today. So, it's, you know, this luck's been okay. And I think it's leaving us in good stead for the trade-ups. I need to make sure that when I get down to 164,100, we move on to the bigger rewards and potentially go bigger and better. So we've probably got, you know, under 10 left, most definitely. So let's see if we can get a big finish. Hopefully we've done the maths right. Very rares are good for me because we can trade them all up. Probably a couple more, I want to say. Two more? Or is it three more? One more from now, right? Yeah, one more. Okay, now we open 11 Challengers Cups to get us down to 120,100 credits to open 10 All-Stars Cups. So this is it. Challenger Cup number one. I've never seen anything good out of these. To be honest. Look, look, look. How can you spend 4,000 credits on an uncommon? Very rare. We'll take it. Mostly rare and very rare items with occasional imports or better. That's the way this is advertised. But we're getting nothing. You know, I, if we don't get an import here. The thing is, I don't ever want to give up on a particular cup. Because I know it can deliver. But... It's been so consistently underperforming. Look at that. We didn't get a single import from the challenges. I'm telling you, if you're at the rank where you, where you start with, I think, in tournaments, you only have these two cups, just spend them on prospect cups, man. Challenges just aren't it for me. But now, All-Stars Cups. Now, I this is the cup out of all of them I've opened the least because whenever I have uh, enough credits to open a high-valued cup on my account, I'd open the Champions Cup because... I want to guarantee the paint, right? I would not want to open an all-star and get an unpainted black market because I'd be thinking if I open that in a Champions Cup, it's a painted black market. But here, the best part is I don't have a choice. I don't have the luxury of having the Champions Cup. So we're doing all-stars cup. Very rare or above. Nose, crate, come on. It's a very rare. That's fine. That's fine. That's the worst we could get, but it's fine. Let's do a no reaction all-stars cup. Come on. We're going to move on. It's not bad. It's not bad. All-Stars Cup number three. Oh, purple. Okay. A little bit of artwork is, you know, correction is needed to smooth out the edges, but we'll take that. Let's go with another All-Stars Cup. We've got six left. Come on. It's a very rare. See, with 10 attempts, surely we're getting an exotic or a black market, right? Come on. Yes. Yes. Cobalt Zoko wheels. That's the one. Painted exotic. Not bad. Not bad. Terrakinesis. That's okay. Yes. Yes. Yes! Yes! That's the best tournament reward I've ever opened. I've had painted Hades Bomb and painted Nurgle before, but Sky Blue is one of the best colors there is. I'm going to equip it now so he can see it when he gets back onto his account. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's so clean. That's so clean. Dude, and the only other black market he's got is the Righteous Scale from... from is that a season one tournament reward? I forget. No, it, Righteous Scale. I can't even remember how you get the Righteous Scale, but we've got a Sky Blue Tactician Hades Bomb. Look how clean that is. Let me check his inventory real quick and see what black markets he's got. What? what? He's got a bubbly, a Spectre. Dude! Dude! <laughs> yes! Yes, the lucky golden controllers come in clutch again. We've got three more. Come on, back to back black markets. Okay, it's a very rare. Come on. One more for the win. Okay, you know what? I don't know if we'll have enough exotics to get another black market, but that's fine. Because we've got, you know, one of the most insane things. That's season one. Okay, yeah, so we don't have enough to get another black market from trade-up. So it's a good thing we got it from the crates. But now, the goal has to be a painted hand heart. I think we're going to go for a painted hand heart. We can trade up duplicates and everything like that. We'll try and keep the non-duplicates because it's not like we're going trying to go all the way up to black markets for like the maximum. So I will only trade up duplicates at the moment. That's a cert. So we can trade that up as well. Get all these. We'll keep the paint. You know, I don't want to... I'll, I'll keep everything unless he said I need it for like one more trade up. So if I'm like an uncommon away from an exotic drop trade up, then I will be getting rid of, I don't know, like a dark slide uncommon topper because they're very, very easy to get and etc, etc. You know how it is. So we're gonna try we'll keep one non-painted i guess 
and go to these now. We'll keep the striker one. We might as well trade up this one if we've got a striker one there. It's a little bit more difficult if we're not going balls to the walls to trade everything up. But there's a duplicate there. There's a bunch here. So we're going to trade all of these bad boys up because we don't need them. Trade them up. Trade them up to rares. We're going to keep one, I guess. And then maybe we'll go for real winners and leave it there. There is a turtle one there. Um, which I guess we'll, we'll get, I guess we'll leave it. There's, there's no need right now. Now we're going to trade up the real winners, all 15 of these bad boys. Well, yeah, 15 and we'll keep one. And that should be, I think we've left behind every single one. Like we haven't traded up any non duplicates. So that's ideal. Now, if we go to rare and give it the same treatment, we got a load of cutesy critters to trade up. Sparklet. Don't mind if I do five more. Oh, they look like black burner wheels. We'll have a closer look at those. Five of these. Uh, we don't have another regular one, so we'll keep one off. We'll go with... There's no duplicates here. We'll go with the cow nappers. There's two there. Bang. There should be another cow napper here. Yep, there's a duplicate green. There's literally no point to having duplicate paint. Like, even... You know, there's literally no reason. So we've got another cute critter there. Two of these. Bam, we're smashing it right now. Let's go with five more serpents. And yet... Oh, great. If we do need another trade up, we can always make another trade up out of these because there's there's not great stuff there. So we'll just see what kind of very rares we're dealing with. And if we if we get really close to a certain item, we will do a trade up. So we'll get one of you in there, a bunch of rolling buzzes. Let's get these all these imports rolling in. And uh, we're almost there. A couple sparklets there. Why not? Zoka wheels. Let's go with this. Two of these, maybe we do have a paragon one. So this isn't a duplicate rolling buzz. Uh, intercross. There we go. We've got that. Burner inverted. Now let's do a quick check on the imports and how many we have and can do. So we got five Terrakinesis. So there's a score one there. So we can do that. We can do one more there. One more there. One more there. I'm going to do a couple more. I think he, he, I don't think he'll mind me trading up these. Like uh, They're not that great. So we're going to get another exotic chance if we trade up these very rares. I think that's how we're going to do it. So he can get these back most definitely. Burnt Sienna, I'm sorry. Sparklet Regular, you're gone. That's it. Okay, I think now we're going to get two exotic trade-ups in this video. And that's with keeping duplicates. So we've got five Terrakinesis. He's got Zoku converted. I've got him two in this video. I really want a hand heart. Preferably painted. Come on! Oh, it's it's Zoko. It's Zoko. Okay, okay. Now we have... Oh, we might get another one. I think we're going to get three. Maybe? Am I tripping? I don't know. Wait, I think I might do another one to get him an exotic. We'll see how this one goes. So we can keep the telekinesis because we've got telekinesis because we've got score one there. A burner wheel. We'll take one out. Zoko. There we go. So that's without trading up any duplicates. Let's see what we get. Black hand heart. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's unreal. Wait, so we, we can keep all these. There's no point trading them up because the only thing better, I guess, is white. Like, these aren't duplicates. We're going to respect his wishes. Keep those. That was necessary. Let's go to the hand heart now. Oh, my day. So, we got the, the sky blue Hades bomb and this. I've never seen this. Dude. Oh, my goodness, man. That's unreal. I'd say that's actually a decent ROI, you know. That's not bad for 300,000 credits to get... What this is probably the slickest hand heart I've ever seen. Those hearts in particular are jet black. They look sick. And the Sky Blue Hades bomb is pro is one of my favorites. It's like it's literally the same as the white with a tint of blue. Like I I might even prefer it to the white. The white is clean, but the sky blue is just different. The black Hades bomb is very, very clean as well. Oh my goodness. That's nuts. <laughs> Nevertheless, that is going to do it for this video. The lucky controllers come in clutch again. Thank you, Yimel, for lending me your account. I cannot wait. One thing I always love with these fan trade videos is the response from them when they log onto their account and see what I've got them. I cannot wait for him to see this video, his items, the journey it took to get there. So if you did enjoy it, please do drop a like on this video. Subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. I have been Pixel. You have been awesome. And I will see you in the next video very soon. Flying in a missile, haters throwing shade, never pick me, not an issue. I am a beast, I'm at the top, I run these beats, I hold my spot, so stop before it hits you, it's bigger.